What is going on, guys? It is the Mexicutioner, and I am here to answer the questions that you guys left for me. Thank you. You guys left quite a fit. All right, now I'm going to answer some questions that you guys sent me. Okay, so first one comes from I, I, as techie, whatever. What part of Mex- Mexico are your parents from? My parents are from, uh, hold on, I got to Google this real quick. Mexico. Oh, they're from Mexico City. Thanks for answering that for me, Scott. You can help me with the rest. The uh, next question comes from John Johnson asking, what would you do for a Klondike bar? Now, John, when you ask me that question, I think the real question here is, what would you do for a Klondike bar? Let me know. Okay, next question comes from Edgar Alvarado, and he wants to know, how did you and basically meet? Um, it's actually a pretty funny story. So me and Marcel actually were in the same kindergarten class. And there was actually this really cute girl in our class that both of us kind of had this thing for. And Marcel went behind my back to try and hit on this bitch. And I wasn't having any of that. So I ended up clocking that nigga in the jaw. So we both had to go to the principal's office. And we're sitting outside the principal's office and we ended up just talking it out and we ended up becoming best friends that is actually a true story no i'm just kidding but next question comes from miss heart attack asking what sports did you play growing up um god i played everything to be honest with you I played soccer at a very young age, baseball, basketball. My main sports in high school were football and golf. Um, I was on varsity all four years for both of them, and it was great. Midget on Xbox wants to know, why did you pick the name Executioner? Okay, so me and Marcel were playing Halo a while back, and we ran into a guy named Executioner with one eye, and I thought the name was absolutely fucking hilarious, so I backed out after that game and went and changed my gamer tag to what I got now, Executioner with two eyes. And the J Flayer asks, do you want to live the clown life? Now, the clown life is a very prestigious type of lifestyle that only few are able to experience. For example, my friend Basically I Do Work, or Marceau, lives that prestigious clown life, and I believe he's the president of the clown life, and I was rejected when I turned in my application to partake in the clown life. So no, I do not want to live in the clown life. Uh, next question comes from Nymos Rigby, and he says, Why does Van Austin Nogla call Basically a Clown? Um, they call basically a clown because he's a clown. Like, what What more do you want? Next question comes from Izzy Cameron CKX asking, Are you and Marcel brothers, roommates, or both? Me and Marcel do not live with each other. We never have. Uh, I don't, you guys assume that we do. Uh, we're not brothers. Just because we have dark skin doesn't mean we're brothers. Um, and yeah, no, we're just, uh, we're just good friends, so, um, that's that. Okay, next question. Daniel Kiever wants to know, what does H2O look like? To put this into perspective, you need to put on your thinking cap. So, you're going to want to imagine Shrek having sex with Bigfoot. Now, these two creatures are going to produce a baby. This baby is known as H2O Delirious. And the Farman95 asks, are you a beaner? This is one of my favorite questions and one of the most uh, popular questions asked of me. Um, I'll let you decide. How about that? Uh, Next question comes from XX Livid Clutch, and he wants to know, where did you meet Wildcat and Vanoss and everyone else? Well, you know how I met Marcel, and Marcel was already friends with Delirious, so that's how I met Delirious. Oh, and same with 407. And we met Vanoss because Delirious became friends with him. End of Modern Warfare 3, beginning of Black Ops 2. And that's how we met him and Wildcat, Racing Cats, Moose Knuckle, all them motherfuckers. And the next question comes from Super Beaver Duck asking, first console... Age, name, location, job, girlfriend, ass or tits, do I like anime? I'm just going to rapid fire 
see how fast I can go. First console was a Super Nintendo. Age, 23. Name, Nick. Location, Washington. Job, yes. Girlfriend, no. Ladies, holla at me. Ass or tits? I'm gonna go with ass. Do you, I like anime? Absolutely fucking lutely not. And for the last question, I will let 407 answer. Next question comes from Mr. Restricted, and he wants to know... Are you Steve-O's child? And uh, this is actually quite a tough question because my mom's a f- and she slept around a lot. She was really into all the jackass guys. So I may or may not be a son or Johnny Knoxville's, but they will never be certain unless we have some sort of DNA test. But I like to think that I am. <laughs> Thanks for all the questions, guys. I really appreciate them. I did go through each and every one of them and read them, and I picked a few. I didn't want to keep you guys here for, you know, 20, 30 minutes answering every single question. But I do appreciate everything, the support, the love. I'm about to hit 50K here within the next couple days, and I couldn't have done it without you guys. So I really appreciate it, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace. Hey, I'm Executionator. Hey, I'm Executionator. <laughs> oh my god, what's this fanboy doing? <laughs>